Today I'm going to show you how to set up WordPress uh, on your web host. So first, you need to go to the 000webhost.com. I'm just going to show you an example of using a free web host um, and a free subdomain. So if you just fill in your details here, I think this is if you have your if you want to use your own domain that you have already registered and just get free hosting, or else you can just choose a free subdomain and put in your name, email, and a password. So I just already did this to make it quicker. So once you've filled in all your details, you'll get an email and you just confirm your con uh, your email address and it brings you to this page. So what you want to do is go to your control panel. You'll see everything is set up. Here is all of your uh, account information on the right hand side. So we're going to need that in a while. So next I just want you to go to the WordPress. I'll put all of these links up in the description below. You need to go to wordpress.org and you need to download the latest version of WordPress. So if you just press that. Okay, that's pretty quick, it's downloaded. Just gonna put it on our desktop in the background. We're gonna use that in a bit. Now what we wanna do is go back to our web host for a second into our control panel. And we want to set up a MySQL database because we need this when we're setting up a WordPress so that all our data on our site can be stored in a database. So you just go into MySQL And we want to create a new one here. So I'm just going to say, call this one demo123. And my username is going to be demo as well, 123. My password will just say demo123. Demo123. Create database. Okay, so here's our information that all set up pretty quick. Now we just want to go back to our desktop where we have our WordPress file and just go ahead and open up the zip. And what we want in here is you will see a file called WP config sample. So I'll just open open it with I will open it with text wrangler for now okay so you'll see on this file we gotta uh, we gotta put in all our database information into these so that they'll connect up so let me go back to this we can copy them in so my database name is this. It's usually your username followed by what we've typed in. So we paste that in there. Our user. And our password. So that just goes in the, the, the fourth one down there. People, because WordPress won't be able to read it. So we save it like so. And we can close that back down again. Okay, so that's all set up and ready to go. The next thing you need to do is you'll need an FTP client. So I'm going to show, as an example here, I'm going to use FileZilla. You can get this from here. I'll put this in the description as well. Uh, it's a free software. It's really useful so you can see it here and 
what you need to do first, I've already put in my details here, but I'll just reconnect to show you again. If we go to our control panel on our hosting, we need to take first the IP address, which is this one, and put it in the first, I've already done. We need our username, which is here, putting it in here, and then the password that you use to set up your with your hosting account, so whatever you set up initially. And we want that to be port 21. And quick connect. I'm just reconnecting here. Okay, so that's successful. We see that on this side, this is our local sites. So this is our computer basically, and this is our remote site. This is our host. So I'm going to find my desktop here where we have the WordPress file. Where you can see it there. This is the folder that I have on my desktop. And this is my remote site, which we're going to want to put everything into the public HTML folder. So we have this open here. Um, hmm, okay. So we want to put in each of these folders separately. Back and you'll see that I've put all of the files that were in that folder, brought them to the remote site. So they've all loaded up there. We've got all the folders in that. So what you want to do next is we just go back to our host and we want to go to our domain name and you'll see WordPress is after uh, installing so we can begin the whole install process now I'm going to go to English UK continue so this is just going to be the title that your site's going to have so I'm just going to demo at the moment it's going to be your username uh, for your your administrator of your site so we'll just call that demo again it's going to give us a password so we got to keep we got to remember this so I'm going to just copy that going to put my email address and we're going to uncheck this for now because we don't want Google to be able to index this site until it's actually ready we can change them in the settings later and install Okay, so we have this, we've got our username and password, so now you just have to log in. Demo and paste the password in there. And there you go. Is your WordPress admin.